All right, what's up? What's going on YouTube? Welcome once again to my channel. I'm Super Manny. So today what I'm going to be sharing with you guys is um, this photo location in Sugarland, Texas, Houston, Texas, which is known as Oyster Creek Park. This is a very, very popular place uh, that a lot of people come to for quinceaneras, graduations, all of that. So what I'm going to show you is kind of a walkthrough of the places where I take photos for my clients. Um, a little bit of how I pose them and then you'll see some of the pictures that actually come out from the location. Hopefully you guys learned something from this. Um, more than gear, it's more about situation and position and lighting, I guess. Um, so yeah, so let's start it up. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Okay, so this is one of the main locations of the park. This is the main bridge entrance from the other side is where you enter. Uh, kind of make your way this way. Um, so these shots are usually straight on, straight forward. Sometimes I'll take shots right here from the side, depending on how the lighting is. But that's pretty much the setup that I go for that. The next spot I want to share is this rock here. It's actually right next to where the bridge is. So I use this to shoot, usually place the subject right here in between so they have that background. Um, and there's some branches up top. You guys can kind of get a feel of how it would look. So that's another one of my favorite spots. It's really cool because you can kind of have them here sitting or standing straight. Um, for kids, it's really nice. They can just sit up there, look high and mighty and tall. Another interesting area that we have here is right here, this is the fountain. This is just opposite the rock and the bridge. So this area, of course, it's really nice to have them set up here, right in front, have it look nice. Um, kind of simple to set that shot up. Also, there's large families. I'll set them up here by this rock. And you can see how you can have kind of like Two here, two on the rock, two on this side, and just kind of make it work with this area. Another area I usually like to shoot is also right here, which is by the fountain. But just this little small sturdy rock also allows me to get some nice uh, short portraits. They look really nice over there. My next favorite spot <clears throat> is actually this one here. It's like a small pond area, but this is really good. Uh, mostly for single porches, but for families as well. You can set them up on this rock. And this is my secret angle. I get down here and take some pictures or I hide behind this plant and get some beautiful shots just like that. This area as well is a really nice shot just because it has the fountain from a different angle. Um, usually set up the single person there or the family there. Um, it lends out really, really nicely. 
as you can see you can get low and kind of get that up angle um, the only bad part about here is again there's also no shade at all so it's kind of like a hit or miss depending on the day time of day another thing for kids is using just this little greenery here and you can just set them up there get some low shots for babies and toddlers um, and smaller family members The spot which is honestly the lifesaver if it's rainy if it's too sunny this place is always shaded out um, it's kind of like a small stage atrium area that you can use uh, so kind of some of the angles that you can play with would be just straight on you're able to get some pictures on the side which have that fountain or some on that side just showing the park and grass Another small detail is this rock here, which you can set up a small portrait and you always get those beautiful flowers in the back and the fountain and the bridge. Um, so these pictures are usually really nice. The only problem is that pole here and this pole there. So you just have to really get in there tight and grab the picture that's needed. And lastly, we have this spot. So this is another bridge right on the other side. Um, this one's nice because you can, you can use both sides depending on the lighting situation. There's usually super harsh sunlight here, which is the only bad part. But it's a really nice area. Uh, one thing I do like to do is just head off to the side and take a shot from this angle. As you can see from this angle, it lends a really, really, really nice area to silhouette um, where you can place a family or a single person. And it just looks really good there from this side. Okay, so that was the tour of Oyster Creek Park. Um, those are some of the locations. I try to keep it on this side of the park, like near the entrance, um, just because I usually have only 30 minutes to get the shoot done. Yeah, as you saw, so those are some examples of the pictures that I do take. Of course, um, a lot of times I am shooting in harsh sunlight, which is just challenging at best, just because when there is harsh sunlight, you have to try to choose the spot that I know that is gonna work or the lighting that I know that's gonna work. So sometimes you have to like flip it up and you have to try a different angle or try a different side um, or even a different location that you really haven't shot at before. Um, so in the moment, it kind of just throws you off a little bit. But that's why we're photographers, right? It's our job to understand that and to do that properly. But besides that, I mean, this is some of the area. This park is actually very big. I've never gone to the farther end. Um, there is another side to the right side of the park, uh, which is filled with more grass, this is bigger, um, more plain, for if you need some type of like plain grass and plain tree uh, backdrops. But if not, this park is actually kind of busy when it comes to tree placements and like little flowers and rocks and things like that, as you saw. But you can get a lot of, a lot of good pictures here. I've gotten great pictures here in the rain and the shade and the sun all types of weather so basically what i want to get through this video is just to let you guys understand that no matter which place you go to 
no matter which location you like shooting at or if you have certain spots but the more you shoot there the more you switch it up and vary it you can come up with a lot of different um, angles and ideas and things and that's what makes photography so great so I hope you'd like this run through of Oyster Creek Park. I actually had a lot of fun. Um, there's a few parks that I are my go-to parks for these photo shoots. So I do want to do more rundowns of those areas. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys liked it, if you guys enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it a whole bunch. Even though it was super hot today and I was in between shoots, but I was able to get it done. All right, guys. So again, thank you so much for checking out the video. Um, like it if you did share it if you think somebody else should see it and leave a comment to let me know how i can make it better or even just your thoughts and opinions of the whole process all right guys well super manny again thank you so much guys for checking out the channel just remember each and every one of you are super creators you just have to go out and find your superpower and i will snap at you guys in the next video